Welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy, a source that offers weekly content for audio engineers and recording artists. On this channel, I give you cutting edge vocal mixing and mastering videos. I also offer an online course called the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. You can find the link to this in the description and it's over nine hours of videos going from start to finish to really help you become a better audio engineer. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Hey guys, this next video is tuning, timing, and fixing a vocal in Melodyne. I wanna show you all the different tools in Melodyne and how to really take advantage of it. I mean, it's honestly more than pitch and timing. There's some other cool tools in there. It's an all around vocal editor. First, we're going to load it on the track. Hit transfer. In Pro Tools, I like to hit commit and then do do nothing I'm just gonna hit command Z just use that to scan Melodyne in really quick instead of having to hit play and in, in real time so let's dive into this alright I just found it on my uh, keyboard it's C major if you need like an auto key or a key detector, you could check out the Waves key detector or Antera's auto key. Both of those will find the key for you if you don't know how. Obviously this is the scroll tool. You just kind of grab the thing like that, position the way you want it. Zoom. I find that like a nice happy medium to where it's not too much like that or not too much like that. This is usually a good place where I like to keep it. It's where everything's kind of spaced out, but you do what works for you. So we got the pitch tool. This first one is just, yeah. just grabbing it. Second one is modulation. Yeah. That's like it's kind of like retune speed and then we have this pitch drift which is like a, a more natural modulation in a way I don't it kind of keeps the curve of everything but tilts it it's kind of like a tilting tool I don't use that one too too much but it is pretty cool format tool that's to change the format which is like the tone of it uh, it's hard to explain but like uh, we'll show you what it means here I don't see it's like a deep voice. I don't, yeah. I don't want no problem. Yeah, but don't use that too too much. Yeah. Yeah. This is an amplitude. So this one here is to Bye. make things quieter. Bye. So you could do some vocal leveling even before you even get to uh your compressor so that's pretty cool this is a timing tool oh yeah I wanted to say with this amplitude tool there's also a sibilance balancer so you can uh, turn down sibilance kind of make it less we're gonna actually I'm gonna tune this vocal and show you all this but I wanted to go over these tools first um, attack speed I don't use this too much, but you can literally soften the attack of, of a word. Yeah. I don't want Yeah. I don't want So bringing it down kind of smooths the attack more. Bringing it up makes it like more of a harder hitting attack. Yeah. And then the note separator. So this is a really good one because these blobs, a lot of times you have to do things within a blob and you've got to cut it into other blobs to move them around. So so with Melodyne, it's one of those things you just have to watch and see how I use all these tools. You'll see the application for them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start with grabbing it. Yeah. 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 So 
So yeah, I made this kind of end on this certain note there by dragging it. Yeah. Yeah. If you need this to drag out more, you can use the pitch modulation tool. Yeah. Yeah. See how I got those to match? So with the pitch modulation tool, when I did that, yeah. it dropped all the way down to that note. See, watch yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So see how I chopped that and just brought that up there by itself then made sure this is right in the center here. Okay, this is an example we can maybe try the format tool. So maybe to make him sound a little less nasally right there. We can go to format. Okay. 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 So that made him a little deeper on that uh, nasal part. Okay. 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 It's not a huge difference, but... Yeah. Oh, another cool trick uh, a friend of mine showed me is hit control and click, and then all your tools are right here. That's actually helped me a lot speed up lately. Yeah. So I'm going to make a cut right there so I can adjust this dive out. A cut right here. We're gonna adjust that raise into it, adjust the the vocal going out. Yeah. 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 I don't want I don't So these little X's right here can smooth things out from note to note. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. You can also make a raise. I don't want no problem with the models of To make it raise into the note more. I could zoom in to show you. I just I chopped a front piece of that and then drug it down. So it was up here. It was up there like that. I cut that piece and brought it down. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. Because see, this one had a raise on it. We're just going to make that more. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. Cool. And then you got to watch a line like that. It goes really sharp. 
Go to pitch modulation. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. Straighten that out because that line was going flat. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. That's very clean. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. I don't, I don't, I don't. We can get that first one. I, I don't want no problem with the models. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. I don't, I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. Heard you, heard, heard you need this, heard you need this something said I. Heard you needed something, said I. Uh, heard you needed something, said I got you. Heard you needed something, said I got. You. Heard you needed something, said I got you. I. Heard you needed something, said I got you. I. Uh, heard you needed something, said I got you. I got you. Heard you needed something, said I got you. I got you. So I'm just grabbing these and putting them down where they need to go. 30, 000, 30, 000 it does it does take a certain amount of ears to to know what to move and stuff. So that is a skill that unfortunately can't teach. And see, this is a tricky one because obviously this is the wrong note, but it is still in key. But it'll sound better right there. Now, so that's where you just have to kind of use your ears and trust your judgment. The thirty thousand flooding out the wallet. I thirty thousand flooding out the wallet. I got thirty thousand flooding out the wallet. I got thirty thousand flooding out the wallet. I got heard a pocket watch trying to heard a heard a pocket watch heard a pocket watch trying to heard a pocket watch trying to stop my. Heard a pocket watch is trying to stop my, stop my deposits, 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 swirl, swirl like a serpent, swirl like, swirl like a serpent. Okay, so for the most part, you can see I'm cutting things, separating it with a separating tool, and then moving new blobs. You can do 75% of the work to tune a vocal just by cutting the blobs and moving the blobs. I'll say it again, cutting the blobs and moving the blobs. It's not too, too hard. It looks way more advanced when I'm doing it, but I'm normally just cutting things and moving them where they need to go. Like a boss. Okay. Like a boss. That sibilance doesn't sound bad, but I still want to show you the tool because it's a cool tool. Right here, click on amplitude down to sibilance or sibilant balance tool. Like a boss. Everywhere you see those lines, it detects sibilance. Those little lines. Like a boss. See, that made it like way less. Go back a little. Oh, that's a harsh one. See, now it's not harsh anymore. Okay. Timing. So, let's adjust the timing. I don't love the timing in... Melodyne, it, it's it's kind of free range a little bit. You just move it around until it sounds good. But if you're not careful, you can really mess a vocal up. But I would go subtle no matter what. I don't want. I don't want. 
Okay, so we're going to go to Options, Time Grid, go to Eighth Notes. Now the grid is in Eighth Notes. Now it's hard to see where it actually starts. Some of them are more obvious, but... Um, you just have to use your ears. So go to Options and go to Active. Uncheck Active because that's going to snap things to the grid and we don't want to do that. It sounds like it would be a good thing, but the way that these blobs are, it, it doesn't really do it correctly. So, okay, go to your timing tool right here. I don't want and you can drag like that. So anywhere you see these lines at the beginning of each blob, you click at that line and drag. I don't want no... I don't want no... I don't want... So it sounds kind of quick. Maybe we can extend this first one backward a little bit. I don't want no... I don't want no problem. I don't want no problem. I don't want no problem with the mob. I don't want... It's kind of rushed, so now what I can do, since I extended that, you can highlight both of these and move it back. Kind of like that. I don't want no problem. I don't want no problem. Yeah, see? That's a good example. That looks like it's behind, but it's not. It's actually on beat, so just the whole thing needed to come back. So that's why you got to use your ears, not your eyes. I don't want no problem. Sometimes they're more obvious like this. I don't want no problem with the models. That sounded good. I don't want no problem with the models of bottles. Heard you needed something. Heard you needed something that I got. Heard you needed something that I got. You can just move things a little bit when they sound rushed. Heard you needed something that I got. You, I got you. Yeah, so just do little things like that and you'll be in good shape. So pretty much cover everything. We got the grabber tool, zoom tool, um, moving the note tool right here, modulation, that's kind of like retune speed, pitch drift, that's fixing like the whole squiggly line, um, more of like a slant format tool, which we didn't really use too much, don't really need too much, amplitude tool, turning notes down, sibilance tool, we didn't go over the fade tool, but that's okay. Um, I believe that just fades into words. It's nothing crazy. Time tool. Time handle tool. Did not go over that one. You could do your own research on that one. And then attack speed. Went over attack speed. Let's try it on one of these notes here. Heard you needed something. Heard you needed something. Said I got you. I heard you needed something. Heard you needed something. Said I yeah, it's kind of crazy, but like it kind of like made him like accentuate that word. You something that I, got. I don't like it too much, but it could be something to really play with a vocal performance if maybe the performance was kind of lacking some energy. Then you could smooth it out more by bringing it down. Heard you needed something that I got you, I got you. Heard you needed something that I got Not a bad tool. I might start using it more, actually. Yeah, and then the note separator. This is one of your most popular ones. You're going to just chop the blobs. So, all right, guys. That is how you tune, time, fix a vocal in various ways. There's really no other plugin out there like this. Yeah, I will see you guys next time.